The solution to the equation is the value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. In order to solve the equation, we need to isolate the variable on one side of the equation. Notice the equation contains fractions, and therefore, we will first clear the parentheses from the equation by distributing two-ninths. Then we will clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. Distributing two-ninths, we have two-ninths times x, which is two-ninths x, minus two-ninths times one gives us minus two-ninths. Then we have minus two x equals one-third. Looking at the denominators, notice how the least common denominator is nine, and therefore now we will multiply both sides of the equation by nine to clear the fractions and create an equivalent equation. And now on the left, let's show each product. We have nine times two-ninths x minus nine times two-ninths minus nine times two x equals on the right nine times one-third. And now for the products involving a fraction, let's write nine as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now before multiplying, we will simplify out any common factors between the numerators and denominators. Notice for the first product, we have a common factor of nine between the numerator and denominator, and therefore simplifying, nine divided by nine simplifies to one in the numerator and the denominator. Notice now we just have one times two x, which is two x. For the next product, we also have a common factor of nine between the numerator and denominator, and therefore both nines simplify to one, giving us minus one times two, or minus two. Next we have minus nine times two x, which gives us minus 18 x. On the right side, the numerator and denominator share a common factor of three, Simplifying out the common factor of three, three divided by three simplifies to one, nine divided by three simplifies to three. And now multiplying, we have three times one, which is three. So now we have an equivalent equation we can solve for x that no longer contains fractions. And we can still simplify the left side because we have two x terms. Two x minus 18 x is negative 16 x, which gives us negative 16 x minus two equals three. For the next step, we add or subtract to isolate the variable term. To undo the minus two, we add two to both sides. Simplifying, negative two plus two is zero. The left side simplifies to negative 16 x. On the right, we have three plus two, which is five. For the last step, we multiply or divide to isolate x or solve for x. Since negative 16 x means negative 16 times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 16. Simplifying, negative 16 divided by itself simplifies to one. One times x is x. We have x equals five divided by negative 16, which is negative five sixteenths, which doesn't simplify, and therefore the solution is x equals negative five sixteenths. To check this, we will now substitute negative five sixteenths into the original equation for x to verify that it does satisfy the equation. Performing the substitution gives us two ninths times the quantity negative five sixteenths minus one minus two times the quantity negative five sixteenths equals one third. And now let's verify the left side of the equation is equal to the right side by evaluating the left side of the equation on the calculator. To convert the decimal to a fraction, we press math, enter, enter, which does verify the left side of the equation is equal to one-third, which gives us one-third equals one-third, which is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.